And I'm back in a new year. Uh, first vlog of 2016. Uh, I'm back from Mexico, which was really fun. I had a good time. And I posted a, a little video with uh, photos and videos from my trip. Uh, yeah. I posted that a few days ago, so you can watch it if you want. And and since then, I've just pretty much been working since I got home. Like I, I work six days uh, in a row. Uh, again, it, it was expected. I figured I would be working more since I had the week off. Uh, there's this, uh, an, another co-worker of mine. Uh, she also had Christmas week off, but she worked seven days in a row before then. So, so she could have the, the whole week off. And ever since I got back to work, I've been re really busy. Like on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I worked. Like I, I volunteered for those days. And on both days, it was just me and one other person for almost all day. Uh, in the morning, the, the boss was there helping out. And there was one other person in the bakery, but the, they were doing their own work. Uh, so we were kind of short staffed because everyone else wanted New Year's Eve and New Year's Day off for some reason, but not Christmas. So, yeah. That's weird. I always thought it would have been uh, the opposite. M most people requested Christmas off instead of New Year's. And then there was this other co-worker. Like, he, uh... His schedule is kind of like mine, where he uh, works different shifts, different days, and he fills in the, for the graveyard shift and the, and the evening shift when the, the regular people well, are, are uh, off work. But apparently, he worked New Year's Day, midnight to 8 a.m. And then came back to work at 4 and worked until midnight. <laughs> so he worked 16 hours in one day. Uh... And apparently he volunteered to do that or or uh or he said yes if if he was offered uh one of those two cuz uh he said he told me uh when I asked <laughs> I actually asked someone a question <laughs> but but he told me that because of his schedule, his usual schedule, he he uh, actually only gets a day and a half off a, a week because, uh, like, I think he'll get off at, like, midnight. 
and then go in at 4 p.m. Uh, uh, not the next day, but the day after the next day. Something like that, but that's that's what it worked out too. But this week he actually got two full days off from work. So, so uh, that's actually what, why he did that, so he could get 48 hours straight off. But <laughs> I don't want to do that. I actually ended up working 11 hours. Uh, a little over 11 hours uh, on Wednesday, two days ago, because one guy called in with a migraine, so he didn't come into work, and then practically everyone who lives in Idaho came to my store to buy a Powerball ticket because it was up to $500 million on Wednesday. So <laughs> it was just chaos. Then we also had freight come in. So I had to do that, that, to put freight away, and then do a cooler, and then uh, sell, I think they said, uh, over $4,000 in, in lottery tickets that day, that's what, what the store sold, so, oh, uh, it, it was just madness. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God! And then, no one won the Powerball, so... Now it's up to 800 million. And no one wins this time. Tomorrow, they say it could be over 1 billion dollars. Which, to me, it's... it's uh... It's just unimaginable. What would someone do with all that money? But someone else did call in sick, which was the guy who does the graveyard shifts. Uh, so now I'm going in at 8 a.m. tomorrow. 8 to 4. Uh, and on Sunday, I'm scheduled for 7 a.m. to 4. At least, it won't be for 11 hours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not doing that again. No, no. They asked me to stay you know, more than 10 hours. Uh, I'll just... I have to tell him I can't do it. Uh, I have plans. No, that that, <laughs> that was way too long. Hopefully, people stop calling in sick. <laughs> so, I don't have to work long hours. It's only the first week of the year, and I think two, two, no, for three people have called call in sick to work. But three different people did so far. And it's the worst week when uh, everyone's trying to win the Powerball. Yeah, they want to win money so that they can quit, quit their jobs. But it's making my job harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to waste my money.
because it's like one in 200 some million chances of winning. No, no. No, I, I won't. Oh, actually, that, that reminds me. Like the first week I got back, a, a lady came in with a two hundred dollar sc scratch ticket winner, and and with that amount, the uh, the lottery machine when you scan the ticket, it gives you the option to cash it out or or uh, d decline it and then the the person can take it to to uh, a different store that that has more money because the we can't ca cash the big winners but, like but she had been in the store before and she usually buys the the expensive scratch tickets so i was i was thinking she was going to buy some and then then i could cash it out so i i did press uh, cat the cash button, but she ended up only buying ten dollars in tickets. So, so uh, like then I can cash it, but and uh, like and then the the other person working can cash it. So. And after you press the cash out button, you, you can't take the ticket somewhere else. You The store has to cash it. We convinced her to buy some more scratch tickets to get the, the, um, the winnings down. And then a little bit later, she actually comes in and gives me a $25 winner uh, scratch ticket just because she said she actually felt sorry that I got in trouble for, um, for, for cashing the ticket, which <laughs> I didn't really get in trouble, just they, they just, you know, explained it to me, but hey. I got $25 <laughs> and I actually used that money to buy new headphones because mine broke so <laughs> so so that was one good thing that happened uh, <coughs> but anyway uh, and until next video uh, goodbye.